Whatever you want, baby. We don't care. Look, honestly, shut up. Am I on screen so, this so time? So nothing new. Uh, probably not. Honestly, I don't know. That looks like a tangled fucking. Is that on screen? <sighs> Flip it back. What all you do is just spit in this thing. Steve. There was no we, why you yelling. We didn't this do week. why you yelling this week. Still moist from the other week. Can good be. Oh, oh, oh. Tony, that, oh uh, my definitely. god. When are you gonna learn? I just want to know if I'm on the screen or not. It's yeah, like, I got, I got you in the thighs. all right, good. Is that all you worry about? Your thighs being on screen? No, I want them on the screen. I want to make sure I'm on screen. You just asked. All right, good. Go. <laughs> Where are you going? A what? Bodega. Say it with me. Bodegas. Yes, yeah, very good. I wear my jewelry to the bodega. A bodega. What's that song? I eat a con. It's like six. There's one on the corner there. There's one I right wear my the jewelry to oh, the I bodega. I can barely see in front of me, so. And I, questions like that. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm trying to think of that there's a song about bodegas. I put on my jewelry just Which one? To the I wear bodega. my jewelry. I, eat a quant, so I wear my makeup to the bodega. How's that work for you? I think uh, I'd get killed if I wore makeup. And it to makes that me bodega. feel safer. Or something like that. That's a song. Ooh, Billy like, Idol? No, no, I don't believe it was Billy Idol. I, I believe it was a uh, the historical the background of bodegas. I think it's Doja like Cat. So Let's go with that. It sounds more like a Doja Cat. It's not though, energy. but it could be. It's a Doja Cat type artist. Yeah, an artist. Isn't, that a, isn't that a crypto money? No, that's a Doji coin. Doji coin. It wasn't a Doji coin. It's a Doji coin. Doji coin. Doji. Is that how long you've been on the internet for? You've actually never heard someone say it out loud. I have. I, I just have. You Doja. Say Doja. I said I'm Doja. Positive. That's the first time I heard it. Well, Doji. no, well, you. That makes sense. I, I honestly think it's acceptable to say either. So. It's not. What do you mean? You can't who, just name who, who says you can't say? Can Doge? I just say Derek Henry? Is that right or wrong? I'm in Fr in France. I think it's right. <laughs> are what? we in fucking France? Derek. Derek. Are, are we in France? What's what's thankfully what's not. snacks in in French? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, snacks. If you could travel one place in the world right now, outside of America and not Italy, where would you go? And not Italy. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Australia. Yeah? So yes. far. I don't know if you'd fit in in Australia. Probably not, but it's the, They'd be like, who's it's this? the, it's the furthest possible thing away from here. <laughs> that's fair. And like, it just this looks like a great time. Flaming cunt. And, well, that's the other thing. I, I really would, feel like you'd I would be called a flaming I would understand cunt. what I don't know saying. why. You would understand, barely. Well... well Bare, where am I going to go? The Ukraine? I would die in two seconds. Why would Why would my next logical choice be the Ukraine? Yeah, I don't know why that's like even on... That wouldn't even be on the list. That would have been like my 240th well, country. Well, I was thinking about Russia. How many countries are there in the world? Russia is not on the list. Why? What, what do you mean? Why? What do you because mean? I want to examine history. What goes on in Russia? It's all... There's nothing to do with it's history. Like, what do you mean it doesn't have Read about history. what happened in Russia. Why do you have to go to we Russia? We fought them in a Cold War. So you're going to go witness the Cold War? <laughs> I can learn more cut. about it. Just so read a book. Internet, man. Yeah, you asshole. I'm sure they have face. a cool documentary. Like you could, you know, what you could do. You can buy a VR headset now, and you can actually go to different places. You can so if you want, it. you can just go to fucking Russia in your VR headset and just like go stand outside in the cold. Well, you know, there's gonna be a point like one day in the future, not so far away, I can't where wait. you actually just don't leave your I, chair so or your bed, about. and you wear we, VR glasses. We talked about this on an episode of Animals House where it was like. You don't have to like. Your, I can't your wait food till it's is like getting ordered to you, you like right plug there. Plug in, you're in a feeding tube. You're gonna fuck somebody. You go into you go a to Russia world. or Ukraine whenever you want. You yeah. Do whatever you want. Why is that so crazy? <laughs> now hold on, hold on. It's like a is surrogate Hawaii lifestyle. out of the USA? Like oh. obviously they're counted as a state, but then no, they're not out of the USA. No, it's part of the United States. You're talking about North America. I would, quit, I would consider New Jersey farther out of the USA than Hawaii. That's ridiculous. Not New Jersey is the United not States. You. <laughs> The heart heartbeat of the United States. Shout out to uh, Daniel Albert, by the way. Oh, that's the uh, just for being alive and being in Seaside Heights. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah. Um, just so you guys know, I wasn't lying. Clearly, yeah. It's big facts. I'm gonna be honest. Like 50 50 chance. I thought you were. Thought you, were you know, 100. percent There was some definite people I thought it. I was lying when I said I got spotted at Chipotle. I'm pretty sure, well, like I, you said it, and I immediately was maybe. like, "You're lying." <laughs> yeah. So I said it. Maybe maybe so like, there's no like beating yeah. around the bush there. Yeah, I'm that guy that just seems like he would make shit up like that. Got, at a Knicks game, it's a little different because there's a thousand people, but at a random Chipotle in North Jersey, people could maybe think that you were lying. I but think, though, I trust we have people though. We would never. We have proof, so that's good. Um. Do you want to do a your intro thing so we could get into the fantasy portion? What's cracking, big dogs? 
Oh, I got dogs on my uh, socks. Welcome, dude. bike. To fade the public. <clears throat> the OG socks. Great, great socks. Miss Skippy every single day of my life. Me too. Literally looks like him. Look how fat he is. It does. Yeah, they put rolls on rolls there. Yeah. What do you think, like, the, the marketing decisions? They're like, we're going to put pugs on socks. Let's make it really fat. Make it so that when the sock crinkles, they look fatter. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, you <laughs> That's know, big brain shit. Yeah, I, I, love, I loved Skippy, and I've always loved Pugs, but the reason I loved Skippy, and I loved Pugs, because he was so fat. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why. I agree. Pug, yeah. Like, skinny Pugs? Eh. I agree. They're, they're whatever. It doesn't do yeah, it. Yeah. That's just how I am with dogs now. I was, spo- I was spoiled. Fat? Yeah, it was like I was born into money. I'm, I'm old money, you know? That's how I look at it with Skippy. Why do you think I feed Benny ice cream literally nonstop? Over and over and over. He's like relatively in good shape. Benny is in good shape. Hey, He's like rocks. I get the intro. All right. Welcome back from the intro, everybody. What a time that was. Wow. So we're going to be talking uh, Dynasty Fantasy Football today. We're going to be talking... Guys that you want to trade for. I was trying to think of like a cool name for it. I got nothing. Came up real short there. So we're going to keep it simple. Talking Dynasty Fantasy Football. Guys that you want to trade for. All right? And what inspired this episode is uh, me, Animal, and uh, this You're guy here. You're just such an inspiration. Snacks. To yourself. Made uh, some trades in Dynasty Fantasy Football this past week. Actually, mine was today. Mine was yesterday. But we both traded for the same guy, <laughs> and they're both dynasty leagues, and it's just very interesting that it happened this way. We didn't plan it, wait, so wait, it got what did us you thinking. Say? Same guy in different things. Different oh, leagues. Different leagues. Okay, I thought you said same. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, obviously, we can't both have the same guy. Well, you never know. Could have traded and then traded. You never know. You didn't turn, you didn't turn the uh, microphones on two weeks ago. So <laughs> first thing, I guess what we'll do is we'll talk about those trades, and then we'll get into I some of the other guys there, that we would like to uh, Who'd you guys trade, trade for? for. So we traded for, do you want to guess? Uh, based on the conversation we had before and you telling me who it was. And you're in the leagues. <laughs> both leagues. Uh, Stefan Diglett. Yes, you win nothing, nope. but that was pretty good. It's not right. Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs, Diggs not Diglett. Yeah, Stefan Diggs. Holy shit, that was six sacks. That's so awesome, dude. For the Buffalo Bills, you just got to double rare check. W. Make sure <laughs> rare, we were rare w. Rare recording. Rare. All right, so I'll go over my my trade first. I'll do my Because I know it off the top of my head. And it's, it's a blockbuster trade. I it's traded. a lot bigger than mine. Yeah. It is. So I traded so. Russell Wilson, Alvin Kamara, my boy, and a uh, rookie first round pick, probably going to be the uh, one twelve for. And what, I feel like it's going to like like, be like like. This is what it do. I think I feel like it's going to be a top five now. Well, maybe. And <laughs> I got in return Deshaun Watson, Stefan Diggs, and Jerry Judy. I needed wide receivers. I think right now the big issue everyone's having with is the Deshaun Watson part. Is he, when's he going to play? Is he going to play? I don't, I don't here's, know. here's the thing. Here's the, here's the whole thing. Yeah. I feel like you gave up. P- I mean, the Desha- Deshaun Watson, I can't sit here and say anything that everybody hasn't said 50 times. So obviously, that's yeah. very risky. Just if you look the Wilson-Watson risk. Um, you know, if you believe that Watson... Oh, if you Watson. believe that Watson's back next year, then I then you probably take Watson. I think he's 100% Wilson. back next year, and there's a possibility... I just saw a report, like, very, very recently, possibility like he plays an hour this year. ago, that... He may never play again. No, I no, saw a report that it was, it was, like, possibly more than this year, but regardless, no one no, has No shit. chance. Which if, means uh, never again. If you look at the history of the NFL, he'll be on the field as soon as possible. I don't know if I love the Kamara for Diggs part. Um, I, unless, are you, are you someone that's, I'm kind like, of weighing the fact on, that Watson, if he's just back to normal, like, I'm getting good value on that. Yeah. Well, are you I, out on Kamara for Dynasty? No, it's just I have running back depth with uh, Derrick Henry, John you do Taylor, have running back depth and there. Rojo. But and I have all their backups. I also who, think that first round pick really could be... Rojo into dude, you got to throw Rojo in. There's 23. It's Dynasty. It's going to happen. It's going. It's got to happen. But it that first round pick could also be a top five. And we're, we're, we're that for me. Not, I, don't, I don't think it will be. He was in the playoffs last year. I was in the finals last year. I lost because of freaking Mike Evans and Devonta Adams. Russell Wilson helped you get to the playoffs. Now you have a quarterback that might not Russell Wilson almost buried me Alvin Kamara helped you get into the playoffs. You don't have him anymore this year. Yeah, it's you fine. just lost two guys that very that helped you very much get into the playoffs last year. And now you take them off your team. Maybe not top five, but, but I had no I can't see a playoff team. A Deontay Johnson does it. You, you love you love Judy too. I, love I feel Judy. like I feel like Watson's the trade would be a have Bronco made a little more next sense year. If you gave a second instead of a first. Yeah, obviously, fir- I think like, the first is my kicker. The, the first is a little bit. Yeah, uh, but it's going to be a late a first. Extra. It's a late first. I don't really care. Is it? But it's a yeah. super flex league. It's a tight end premium league, so late first becomes a little bit more valuable there. 
whatever. I don't know, dude. Whatever. Um, I need to make my team better. I think if Watson plays this year, not even close, I'm obviously I, I better. Feel, but for this year, I don't know if you made it better. Long run, maybe, yeah. I'm not done yet. I'm going to make some moves. Okay, well, we moves. can only judge by what you've made right well, now. Well, this trade happened today. you got to build, you know. We'll see what happens. See, well, that. that's what I'm saying. Plus, I think also, right now, today, you didn't get better. There's a lot of people that are very low on Jameis, and I don't really understand why. I think he's going to be fine for fantasy. I think he's going to be more than serviceable. He's well, going mean, to probably be a 20-point guy game every people week. People watch Sean Payton use Taysom Hill like I use Parmesan cheese on pizza. I don't care. It's not the same. That's fair. Not the same. And that ain't just a sprinkle. So, I'm right now, like, you guys are probably going to go ahead and say... Trade, I I lose this. It's not awful, no. It's just it's a future trade. You gotta I, wait and I see. Would, it's prefer, more yeah, trade, I would yeah. prefer the yeah. other side. I also just straight up like Kamara over Diggs for me. I just like having the running back over the wide receiver. Yeah, I agree. Place, but it is what it be, animal. But I weighed it as like proud of you for making a deal. Kamara and Russ, a big one for Watson and Diggs is probably a good swap if if you know for a fact Watson is sure going to be in the NFL for the next 10 years, you know? Well, if that's the case, then yeah, it's going to... So that's why I'm banking on I'm banking on the history of the NFL. Look at Tyreek Hill. Look at Kareem Hunt. Look at every other guy that has had troubles and problems. Hold on. They beat the shit out of women, and then Deshaun Watson gets hand jobs, and he's going to be exiled. Alleged. Well, no. Come on. No. Alleged. He at least got handies. I respect the court of law. I I don't. Which I don't think there will be, because I think there's going to be a settlement, which is why we'll see Deshaun Watson on the field. Other than that... But uh, then the NFL could take... Then they take their action. Yeah, what? There's no for legal... the embarrassment that he caused them. They're allowed to suspend you for no fucking Slap. reason. I think they need to have a little something. Well, they have a lot of it. I don't yeah. think they, they do. Have like though. 36 women that came out and said. Yeah, but I'm saying if like the if he goes to court, Only like six of them they settle, it. Yeah, I, I know the NFL the can still do, do something, but whatever. Six. I don't care. I'm not worried about it. Sean Watson. It's more I think of a. Little, it's a good, it's, all right. So it's. more... he's a good guy to buy in uh to trade for in dynasty. It's a more because people are low on him. Okay, that's that's a fair point. Like to your, I was gonna draft him in one of the startups I was in. I was hoping he fell to like the end of the fourth or something, but he ended up going pretty high because I was looking at some of the big dogs startup leagues that I haven't been. People in. are catching on. Well, it went from like he dropped like the three hundred three, and then I saw the next one was like three hundred nine, then like four six, four eleven. He went as he went as low as like the six four, and there I'm like, that's wow. a no fucking brainer. Yeah. You're taking Watson, obviously. I'll take him in the fourth. I would probably have taken him if he fell to me in the fourth, but I was, sure. I was at the turn, so I was like the four twelve five one. He didn't fall to me, uh, but he went. Yeah, he went relatively early in that league, like. Three, three. I don't know. Six All I'm saying two. is like the the Tyreek Hill year when there was the questions if he was ever going to play again. I got him in the ninth round of a dynasty startup. Yeah, and I traded him to Nick. Yeah. But either way, He's sitting pretty on my roster. <laughs> either way, like thanks, that's the, those are the guys that, that really will help your team in the value. Yeah, so I, I agree. It's, and it goes the same for trades. Like people are low on him, they'll trade him away because they don't want to deal with the what ifs. So they just get rid of him off their team. They have someone else. They're good. Trade for Deshaun Watson. 100%. Trade for Stefan Diggs because Snacks just did. I What'd did. you do? Yes. So I traded Jalen Waddle and my first next year for Stefan Diggs. Love it. And I am I've I've been that's very a dub. happy. That's a dub. Yeah. Traded a first round pick for Diggs. Yeah. That's I, how I saw it. Yeah. Well, no, that's not true. But. Yeah. I mean, it kind of just because like, animal, just because you don't like a guy, doesn't mean he's in, he's a, he's in <laughs> yeah. Effort. No, it does. Well, and, and, it well, does. I, I I sat right here and said how much I like Jalen Waddle, but. Yeah. I've also been raving about Diggs, and if I can get Diggs for a Waddle that hasn't produced and has a the, the problem is quarterback yeah. situation. It's a, it, whatever it is for I'll you, attach is, that, I'll attach that the, first. The problem is like no matter how much you like Waddle, like this is not even close wide it's receiver, not, wide no, receiver. You know, you could be production. the highest on Waddle of anyone it's in the just NFL. It's a huge upgrade in your lineup right away because you were going to start Waddle. Now you don't have to start Waddle. I mean, you start the, the question does become: you were the one, you were the worst team in the league this year. So that I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not just saying that. Record-wise, you were literally the oh, worst. Oh, oh, last year, yeah. yeah I, that's I what I mean. Oh, coming in, I have no, no idea. No, I haven't no. looked at the rosters. But you literally had the worst record in the league. By far, yeah. So you traded your future first. That could be, you know, improved roster, of course. But that, excuse, like in a year from now, are we looking at like, you know, are we looking at Tyreek 2.0 plus a 103 for Diggs? It could know? very well. It, in the moment, big W for me. But you're right. He needs the upside forced, to hit on all of the stuff he got correct, for it to correct. be a, a good And for us looking forward, I'm liking... See, I, I'm a big DeAndre Swift fan. Him and Barkley, I love the, I love the combo. And then I'll take, I'll take Diggs and... Uh, what else do I have on my phone? Yeah, what is the rest of your know. roster? So Dig, Diggs, Barkley... Who am I missing? Diggs, Barkley... Galladay? Swift. No, I don't have Galladay. Swift. I do remember you playing like nine Giants against me the the week that you beat and me. They beat, yeah. Champion yeah, like one in twelve. His one win comes against me. Yeah, ridiculous. Because I played like I, mean, I think Wayne Gallman scored three touchdowns. It was me. yeah, it was like a big Wayne Gallman week. Pretty yeah. sure like Darius Slayton yeah. caught like his one touchdown last year. It was not so. All right, so my my team and it's still not very good. Where are your quarterbacks? My uh, Jones and Derek Carr, which I don't hate for this year. 
Hey, Jones. Um, and then I have Zach Wilson on the bench. Listen, I think it's just good that you got rid of Jalen Waddle. I think it works yeah, for your dude, team. That, honestly, your team's going to be it's an instant top, upgrade. Jalen Waddle is Tavon I'm, Austin. I'm He's going to be the next Tavon Austin. Cody's team. That's what I'm calling. I'm calling it. You guys hear that? You hear that? What I said? I didn't know. I'm calling it. Jalen Waddle, next Tavon Austin. What the fuck else is on my next Tavon Austin? Tavon yeah. Austin. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good call. I mean, it's not awful. Yeah. All he has to do is bust. All he has to do is not be good. Oh. Dude, just look at your... I got Marvin Jones. <laughs> Top three pick, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo, give me Marvin. You want him? No. He's a stud. All right, anyway, it's a it's a very big improvement to my roster in as currently constructed, and I like it. Yeah. I agree. Um, I like Nick, it. do you have anybody that you would like to trade for or you think is a good... Tom Brady. Okay. Tom Brady stri- Defend it. strictly for the fact that he's just going to keep on playing. He's playing three more years. He'll keep on dropping in drafts. He'll go to the sixth round, the seventh round, the eighth round. You're getting. Do you it. think if he wins the Super Bowl this year, though, he's going to play again? He yes. might just like. Yes. He he then, no, just, no, because then he's going to want 10. I don't think. Yeah. Like, he's I think want no 10. matter what happens, it's like he loses, I want revenge. He wins, I want to get 10. He wins yeah. 10, I want to get 12. Like, it's just going to. It's a non going. He long, has to stop eventually. As long as he can play, <laughs> he's fine. Why does he have to stop? Yeah, he doesn't have to stop. I just like it. I like that because of the fact that you could definitely get him very cheap. Do you know how many dynasty, dynasty. you know how many dynasty quarterbacks you're gonna draft above Brady that aren't gonna give you three good years? You're Brady, I think Brady's right gonna give you two to three good years. You're gonna get him three rounds after everybody else. Who's got Brady? Like Kirk Cousins is gonna go off the board in like what, the fucking early fifth round in Superflex Leagues? Wild, yeah. He's going to give you like one to two more fantasy relevant years that aren't even as good as Brady's, and Brady's yeah. going to go a round and a half, two and a half rounds later. That uh, I th- That's so crazy to think about, too. Yeah. I just like the, the setup is so perfect for him this what year. What is he, 43? It's 50. 44? 42? <laughs> Doesn't matter. So Brady's literally a guy that I would be trying to get in dynasty startup leagues if you are. Honestly, if you're rebuilding, fucking... Rip him off. Let's go. He's going to be there for a while. He's going to yeah, be draft stable. him and then trade him to a contender for a first round pick when he fucking lights it up. Mm-mm. I'm trying to see who has him right keep now. Him. Keep do. him. Keep him for the rebuild. I think I, I whoever has him in our league. I think I sent a couple uh, a couple trade offers. What'd you him. offer? Probably like one. what would you try to? Okay, that's a good question because we're talking about guys you would trade for in Dynasty. What would you trade for Tom Brady in Dynasty? Um, let me see who has him. I'm going to try to remember what I sent. Kyle has him. Who? Foster. What are you talking, are you about? talking about? Go talking fade. about go fade me. Oh, talking about what to do. Oh, I didn't send. So I need a quarterback in that league. <laughs> yeah, now you do. I know. Was it George? What do you think? Like a third round pick? Fuck no. George sounds about right. No, hell no. no. If I had Tom Brady, I would not give him up for a third round pick. You think someone would? No, I would offer minimum two seconds, um, and hope I can get that done. I honestly don't think people are going to take two seconds for it. Quarterbacks well, are also depending on where they are. Yeah, yeah, I would give two seconds for Tom Brady in a second. I would give two seconds and uh, let me see what my team looks like. Maybe like a fringe quarterback Cole or like Beasley. a. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Cole Beasley is like a zero in a fucking trade. I would give up like a second and. Even not that anyone would take this. Two seconds in Russell Gage right now. I think Russell Gage got a little bit of a, of a market and because Julio's yeah. gone. Yeah. So if someone needs a, a wide receiver, they're rebuilding and they want to take the two seconds for Brady. I don't think that's out of control. Quarterback's one of those one of those tough positions in dynasty because like if you if you're gonna trade them away, no matter like who it is, you want to back in first. But if you're trading for an old quarterback, you don't want to give up a first for him. You know what I mean? It's one of yeah, those, especially for Tom Brady. Yeah, it's one of those dichotomies. So uh, I'd give up everything. I'd risk it all for Brady. Yeah, everything. All right, everything. I'm Brady's daddy, so so. Snacks, do you uh, have any other cream hunt? Okay. Yeah, explain. I've been trying to get Cream Hunt a lot because he's a what? Because he's a free agent next year. Honestly, pretty much. And I, I mean, I love Cream Hunt. I think he's a great ball player. Stuck behind an unbelievable running back, but you see what he does in Cleveland with the, with two great running backs there. He still produces and hitting the free agent market in the off season. What like the dream? The dream pairing. Does of that like not Sanford, worry like, you though that the free agent mark he could go somewhere? Obviously, right now he's not in the best. I mean, he's obviously going to go who offers him the most money, but that a lot of times happens to be a team that needs a running back that they think can be a transformative back. And he's what? Do you, do you think the NFL looks old? at him that way? I mean, he's going to be like relatively old for running back by next offseason. Twenty seven. 26, maybe 27. 26? Okay, Not really yeah. sure. But, it, I, but the last two years, the mileage hasn't been that crazy. No, it hasn't. And so, I, I still think he's a great running back, I, yeah. I think. I just I, I love the dual threat. We saw what he did with Kansas City. Obviously, the dream pairing, like I just said, is San Fran. The, I mean, the, it, places, then it, then it, the places that he's been in, yeah, San Fran would be fantastic. Yeah. 
some motherfucking ceiling. But ceiling. the thing is, like, he's just as likely to land with like the Jets next year as he is. The Absolutely, 49ers. no, I know. And but that's the risk right now, though. I would take that chance. I don't think his value is too high. Where you can't no, offer not. what a second. You know what? It, you like know what it was. A, you know what the problem was when Chubb was out last year. Like Kareem Hunt didn't produce. No, he well. didn't. No. So people no. kind of look at him and they're like, ah, maybe he's not like the RB one we remember him to be. But it was weird. It's weird. You like really expected him to be like it, a top it was five guy. weird. Like he had his. Games. What happened with him, Animal? Why wasn't he a top five guy when Chubb was out? I think they let Baker actually throw the ball a little bit more. They didn't rely on the fact that they had the uh, the two running backs uh, monster. So. The smartest Didn't Baker have said. like a couple of good uh, Baker was games nice during that during year. that span though? But for the most part, he didn't throw a lot of touchdowns. He was a fat little. Fuck. He didn't. They did have those like <laughs> he's a fat little fuck. Uh, I feel like they had like a four game streak where it was like horrible weather. He had like for one a touchdown. Month. Well, yeah, they Remember did. The Philly game. It was yeah. Like, snacks kept petting him and bagels and locks. Took to, to like the over. <laughs> no, I took the over twice. <laughs> took the and over. There was it was like so, we, we forty did mile show on Thursday, wins. and then Friday nights like tornado watching Cleveland. I'm yeah. like, oh, well, fuck me. Yeah, right. that happened so many weeks in a row. And I remember Baker just kept putting up like <laughs> 113 passing yeah, yards. Yeah, yeah zero zeros. And so the, the, those four games are like a wash for everybody. But no, I mean the, the guy's an unbelievable talent. Yeah, I like Kareem. Take I just, that chance. I'm a little I, bit I'm worried about the landing spot. I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't yeah, fall into like... Yeah, well, for sure. That's what you're betting on. What if like what if, what if if he signs with like in one of these spots? Eh, I guess off the top of my head, I can't well, remember. Well, like anything. another bat, like a behind well, a Chubb cut? Well, I was going to say yeah. like one of these exciting sophomore backs. What if he lands in one of those situations? Like what if, what if like, this is going to be dumb, but like what if, you know, Marlon Mack's gone next year? I don't know if Naeem Hines is gone, but like what if like Indy signs and what yeah. if he goes to like Detroit, you know? I actually like, wouldn't hate Indy. I mean... Hines still. It would be the a very similar situation to what he's. It, right it now would be right, right exactly. So the value that you're trading for him there would not be worth the, yeah. the, the squeeze. Yeah. Yeah. Unlikely to happen, but like it could. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Just go to San Fran, Kareem, please. Yeah. Come on. Kareem. They're all going to be gone next year. Just go to San Fran. It's weird saying his first, just his first name, Kareem. Kareem. Right. Just not Kareem Hunt. Not Kareem Hunt. No. Kareem. Say Kareem. Kareem. Come on, Kareem. All right, Kareem. Ah, you suck, Kareem. That's right actually there. very disrespectful to uh, Abdul Jabbar. So. You don't think Kareem Hunt should be allowed to be called by his first name? No. Okay. Well, uh, actually, oh my God, that's a great snacks pantry. Okay, go ahead. Animal. What? Guys named Kareem? No, no, no. no. <laughs> guys that you just know by their first name. Okay. Only oh, guys that only go by their first name? Go by their first name. Gotcha. Kobe. Like, you know, it's Ichiro. Yeah. Uh, Nick. Snacks. God. Snacks. Animal. Champ. Actually, no, I can't even say maybe because Snacks Harrison goes by it. Yeah, that's true. That, that's You're not a bad fraud. pantry, though. Humble, baby. I also Humble. have... Go. Animal. Each row is a good one. Each row. That was a very good one. The first one I think of when people say that. See, like, MJ wouldn't count because it's an initial. No, that's yeah. a fake one. Right. But there's definitely, like... Would you go only athletes? Or would you go, like... Because there's singers and stuff, too? There are singers. The no, Entourage I would, one was I would great, go, by I would the go way. Just, I, would I, go, I really enjoyed that what one. Happened? The Entourage snacks pantry that we did live last week. That was fun. Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was really fun. No, it would it would just be athletes because there's too many... Babs. I know. Babs. Is Tony good. met a Tony met a girl last week. The new Babs. No, Sorry. whose name is Barbara Sorry, and goes by Babs, and she's our age. That's awesome. I don't she's know. Single. It's kind of cool. He, she said she's really hot. Like, where are you going right now? Like, what? Are, uh, you gotta get up. Oh, that's absurd. That's absurd. Back to Dynasty Fantasy Football, guys. You would like to trade for. I I don't want to keep talking about running backs, but I have to get I have to get this one out of here. I have to get it off my chest. Derrick Henry, people, there's a lot of slander going on with Derrick Henry. I don't know why people are hating on him in Dynasty. He's literally the best running back in football. I get it; he doesn't catch the ball. You want to get those receiving yards and those 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 points for you know half PPR. I get it, but I would trade like a Cam Akers for Derrick Henry and like maybe get some other piece. In there too. What do you think? Like, I don't do you think, think it's, I don't think it's a bad move. I do think though, it's it's tough to put him in this category because it's weird because Derrick Henry got a year older, but he's actually going higher. I feel like in drafts this year, like the two dynasty leagues I I drafted in, he went at the well because last year there was disrespect. What did yeah, you, last you year said? Cam, you said you would do Cam Akers. Last year I got him like the three nine of a of a starter. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like he like went, that was just straight up disrespect. I got him two eleven in our. The fade, the yeah. So the this two year you should in, be the two I'm in are it was Cam, Cam Akers went two two, Derrick Henry two three. Okay. The other one Akers went two one, he went two five. So he's he's going like it's early right mid second round. Yeah. Hard to uh, but I mean if you believe he's just going to keep doing what he's doing, right? Yeah. If yeah, you I believe he's like has the Brady effect on him for the next two to three years, yeah. and he's a guy worth trading. I'm just it's saying hard, like if you can that, if yeah. you have like a Cam Akers or like a J.K. Dobbins, one of those young backs that people are loving right Any now. Any worry that Derrick Henry. Is just a fluke. Last year was a fluke. No, fluked his way to two K. 
Stop it. He didn't what even have half, half, just been half his line I'm was hurt. I'm just saying, I don't believe Please. it. There's just people saying that. Yeah, because they're 1700 idiots. the year before. Yeah, flu- uh, that's what I'm saying. People are saying it's a fluke too, right? Yeah. So Two, year, two, two flukes? My point is like if you, you know have... What? I, Adam, uh, I'm starting to think it was a fluke. Stop it. That's just what people are saying. Stop it. Okay. I'll tell them to stop. Like, would you trade, for, say, for example, you have um, Cam Akers and I just, the people love Cam Akers this year. Cam Akers in like a second. Some for Der- uh, no, I'll Cam Akers for Derrick Henry in a second. Cam Akers for Derrick Henry. I take a the second. Henry side. Yeah, you um, would. Yeah. For sure. I, I would I'm probably taking the Henry. take. I would yeah. probably take the Henry side. All right, maybe if I fix this offer here, make it a little more enticing. It's close like- for me. Akers and Henry are close for me. I would, I would more so lean towards Akers because he's literally like seven years younger, and I think I th- I think Akers legitimately. We did the episode of of RB or RB overall. You know, quarterback mm-hmm. one overall, RB one overall, and. I put Nick Chubb as one of my candidates, but like a couple days later, I made a video about Cam Akers. I think Akers has the sauce, the cocktail ingredients to be the RB1 overall this year. Cocktail ingredients. Because the, in order to be the RB1, you, you need to line the team. You need to, yeah, you need to line the team, the quarterback, the scoring opportunities, and the and catching passes. Yeah, He's got all of it there. You know, he might yeah. not be as talented as the, the one dudes thing who have Derrick done Henry it. doesn't have is the passes. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't get if the Der- If Derrick Henry caught 40. The fifty passes, oh, like okay. it'd be. You know, well, it's, mean, a, it's a great way close. to put it about Acres. That's a, it's a dark horse to be RB one. He's you know got, what I mean. Well, he's got all well, my the problem is those guys. All, he's got the ingredients. We're just like he did, wasn't that efficient. He wasn't that great last right. year. So it's like, right. is he actually good though? Right. So you know? everyone loves like the running backs that can uh, obviously catch the ball and they get those points. Well, it's but a good thing. The problem with those guys, you know, the way I look at it as at least, the problem with those guys is that they almost depend on those receptions because if they don't get don't those receptions, will, I think Acres will get a fuck. He gets he gets the carries too, so I'm not worried about him. But like other guys. I just feel like Derrick Henry's a sure thing. Yeah, for he's sure. A sure thing. Like you don't yeah, have to worry yeah. about anything. Like he's just going to get the ball. At he's least, run it. At least I feel like, I feel like for you're, a year or two. you're you're like you're like off off dynasty mode. You're like you're just getting your redraft guys now. Not okay. even no. It's but like here's the thing. Dynasty like two years from now is Derrick Henry still going to be a top five running back? I believe so. I don't think. That's, why not? That's, that's an excessive. Going call. into two years from now, like two like. Next he's, summer and then the summer after that, I don't think Derrick Henry's so top th- five. So this season and next got, season, the year after, he's still going to well, be top be, five? So that's, two, he's, he's going to give 30. you at least two more top five seasons right now and then probably the top ten next in three years. You know what's insane? That Zeke and Nick Chubb are the same age. Okay, I, was, I wanted to bring I Zeke wanted up. to go on to Zeke also. Okay. Zeke's yeah. a guy to trade for. His yes. value, he's, he keeps he's, dropping to like the end of the third round. I know, I don't get it. It's going to be shocking coming out of my mouth, but that's a guy I would, I would try and trade for now too. Yes. That offensive line is coming back Even if he gives healthy. you one more elite year, like end of third draft capital, I feel like is worth it. Yeah, I, he'll, I, he'll give you a run for the I, I, Zeke this year, he's going to be a beast. Mm-hmm. He, that offensive line how is back and healthy. How do you have him ranked in like redraft? Whew. So if you go like, if you go C-Mac, the normal ADP right now is like C-Mac, Dalvin Cook, Henry uh, Barkley, like Derrick Henry Barkley, yeah. Kamara, and then like I've I've seen a lot of people put Zeke. I have as like as Zeke and Chubb. Like that's what that 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 where I, I, I would I'd put, Zeke. put Zeke just because I know he's going to get. I, I, I would put Zeke like, higher than Kamara. I would put Zeke higher than probably Barkley right now too. I would put Zeke higher I'd than have Kamara to right now. Barkley today. Oh, I saw that little cut. He looks good. <sighs> My God, my one hundred and five looks good. It looks very, like, it looks like he did, he didn't even tear an ACL. Love that. I'm very off Barkley this year. It's oh, good. Oh my God. If, you, <laughs> if you're off Barkley, one hundred and two. I'm, like I'm telling him. you right now, Saquon Barkley will be the number one running back in fantasy just, football this year. You heard it from Animal first. He's off Saquon Barkley. He will be number one. The post injury, year, you know, it's outside of Adrian Peterson. It's just he usually doesn't oh, bode well for you just, fantasy. You made my night. I'm just going by history. I, I mean, you look Day at, I don't know. It's, I, I think what's being underrated is just how many passes uh, Zeke was catching with Dak last year. He was like yeah, literally on pace to catch like 85 passes. Yeah. yeah. I think if, insane. He, if he can get 40 this year, that would be. That's what I mean. I, I think 40 is no I don't fucking. Know, it's definitely not out of the round to take him. I mean, we, we all recency bias, look at Kamara and see what he did in the championship game in that whole playoff run. New quarterback though? Who new, the fuck That's knows? what I'm just going to say. New quarterback. And you know what Zeke can do behind that offensive line with Dak and everything. Everything's the same. Is their line going to be good again? Well, I mean, they're all coming back from injury. So you're yeah. expecting Tyrone Smith to be the left tackle he was and Leal Collins to be the tackle he was and, and all these different things. Like, f- they, they lost Frederick last year, so that sucked. Martin's back. It depends on their health and yeah. if they come back to what they were. And if they do, Zeke... Oh, gosh, the Tony Pollard talk drives me fucking me. crazy. Oh, fuck Tony Pollard. The guy sucks. <laughs> I don't know about that. I watch him twice a year. He sucks. Okay. Uh, do you guys have anyone else that you were trying to trade for in Dynasty Fantasy Football? Let's let's see. Not Leonard Fournette, Corey Davis, or Deontay Johnson, Scott. I like Deontay Johnson a lot. 
not for what he fucking offered me. <laughs> what did he give you? I don't remember. But it was just <laughs> like a miserable fucking trade off. Aaron Rodgers is going so low in super flex leagues too. Oh, for sure. I mean, Aaron Rodgers. I got him at the six eleven. Yeah. In the startup I was at. Um, Anyone like uh, yeah for sure I'm trying I've been trying to trade for Rodgers and Watson. Wait a minute for S- the, speak, since the speaking start. of Rodgers, did you see see the report? I'm starting to get more and more of uh, the feeling that he's not going to be going to the Broncos. Yeah, thank you. He just renewed. You're not allowed to take it back. He just I, renewed. He guaranteed it. He just this renewed is, his country club membership in yeah. Green Bay. You know how that much that, doesn't matter. You know how much that cost? They were probably it was probably a recurring bill like us us paying yeah, our Netflix. It's like his bill. Netflix payment. Yeah, like Aaron, Aaron uh, you're gonna pay your ten thousand. Yeah, whatever. If he was gonna be a Bronco yeah. or if he was gonna be traded, I think it would have been done by now. That's why I say. Yeah. That's why I say that. Yes. And I think that we're getting closer to Watson being cleared. So it's going to be he's. Oh, so now, now Watson's going to Denver for sure. They're not trading yes. him. You're an idiot. Stop why it. would Why Stop would Houston it. We're not going to get there. We do can't you know do that who right their now. owner is, McNair? He's such a scumbag. All right. He would rather Watson rot on his couch and pay him than to trade him and give Speaking in to his Speaking of demands. quarterbacks, Matt Ryan, guy in Dynasty so, I'm trying to trade for. I know a lot of people. Hell no. That's why. Oh fuck! No. That's why, because a lot of people are just like fuck it. Trade. For some reason, people Actually, think like Ma- trade, feel yeah. like everyone has this like feeling that Mar is going to like fall off a cliff this year. He is, but I don't think that's going to be case. useless. What would you trade for him right now? What, if you had Matt Ryan and I offered a third you round pick, absolutely not. No, I would fuck. never give up a starting quarterback at Superflex. Whatever his value, if you valued him a third round pick, wouldn't do that. Oh no, I'm saying what I'd offer. Oh yeah, like I wouldn't accept that. If I okay. own Matt Ryan, which so I if I do, give you like Drew Lock in a second. Uh, n- probably not. No, because I'm not sure. Like, I need because Drew Locks. If he too, like Matt Ryan is just he just doesn't move any sort of needle. He is just like going to be 16 points a game this what year. About, which I is exactly you, the same as every other. What quarterback. if I offered you Jameis Winston for Matt Ryan and your third? I would take that. What about Matt Ryan and your second? I should have started there, but let's just pretend I did. Yeah, you went. You went a little. <laughs> I would also probably take that. Well, All right. Do you want to offer me that? I don't have that. Oh. Uh. Well, I might. What part of that don't you have? I might have that. What league we? What league do you have Matt Ryan in? Go fade me. I don't have James in that league. Damn. But you took him in like the eighth round of the startup. That's correct? what I do. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Thought we almost had a live trade, fellas. Same. Yeah, I would easily give up Matt Ryan for... So I that's can't believe you would, you would do that. You'd give no, up absolutely not. Oh. I, I I believe in James, but there's people out there that like they have James and they're panicking with Taysom Hill. You get fucking Matt Ryan in a pick. Why not? I think there's a little more risk to James than we're giving it credit for. But I think Matt Ryan is just like the worst dynasty investment in the world right now. But I think it's I'm a, actually very very. I think you can get him for even cheaper than what I just threw out there. I was just Who's like off the top of my head. It's Matt Ryan, Kirk, and Cam. Like all very quickly declining assets. You know. Like next yeah, but year, see, I mean, you have like C Mac Chubb and my running backs are awesome, but like Cam might not be the starter in four weeks. Matt Ryan's Matt Ryan and Kirk Cousins are going to combine to give me weekly what like what normal points. people's like QB one gives them. You know what I mean? So my RB <laughs> advantage kind of hurts. So um, yeah, I guess that kind of is. A, here's the thing: like Matt Ryan, they're just not going to throw the ball a lot. He doesn't have like the weapons there to be a high power offense. They're, he's going to be like a sixteen. It's still a game uh, I see. I think no, you're going to be able to get him really cheap though, depending on the team. Obviously, they're cheap. Yeah, but, that's why I like it. If you are like if you're a contender, if uh-huh. your team is contending and like you need a quarterback, would you rather have Derek Carr or Matt Ryan? Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Same. Because he's a little bit younger and he's just. Yeah. He, Derek Carr's 20 points fantasy every week. He is, and if he's out in Oakland next year, he's 100 percent getting a job. Yeah, as a starter next, somewhere next year. Yeah, no. I, all right, so we we don't all have to agree on Matt Ryan. I think no. he's just a good good opportunity. You, there's a good window here, I think, to but to be able to, to buy him Stop. pretty cheap, and he's going to actually, I think, going to be. What about Big Ben? No, absolutely not. I'm so <laughs> off Ben. You can buy him for cheap. All right, all right, all right. Not all right. the same. Don't compare Matt Ryan and Big Ben right now. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, he doesn't even not deserve the same, that credit. No. I don't want Fitzpatrick at all. Yo, nothing why, to do with him. How many, I would how rather many, Fitzpatrick. I'm I'm like really uh, nothing I'm like, to do with the Fitzpatrick. I'm not a fan of the whole Fitzpatrick thing. Like, what would you trade for him? Any, anyway, year. a fourth? Like yeah, fourth sure. I'll give up a fourth. Sucks. How many? How do you know how many four thousand yard passing seasons Ryan Fitzpatrick has? Six. None. Zero. Yeah, that's a good guess. Yeah, why didn't you go six? Well, he's not he's fucking Aaron Rodgers. He's 16 games, what, one time? Yeah, like three times. Wow. Yeah. That's shocking. He hit 3,900 like once. Shocking to me. Yeah. Well, he's also barely ever a starter. Probably the year that's what he usually I mean. like comes in like halfway through the year. That's what I mean, like, like him being the four guy Four games this here, year. two games there. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Everybody's like, oh, yeah. Washington's a great team. No, they're going to suck. I don't know about that. They're going to suck. Dude, they had Alex Smith last year and they didn't suck. 
Oh, they, Washington's they a very underrated eight. team. Like they have a lot of talent. Their defense is so good. Defense they, is so that. good. The, the offensive line really is really good. Is really good. Their secondary is abysmal. It's not. It's, it's, all it's actually not. Just get pressure. It, it's not. Get pressure well, on the quarterback and throw if, the ball. If you can't get pressure, then defend the pass. If you can't defend the pass, get pressure, and they can pressure the ball. Yes, their secondary is awful. They got fucking torched by Darius Slayton, who is atrocious. Darius Slayton's good. He's terrible. <laughs> And I can tell you that with my own two fucking eyes. He's terrible. I they let Golden Tate beat him, beat them twice. All right, uh, I got a wide receiver. Golden Tate, you see his comment the other yesterday? Dude, I stop. I, I don't even <laughs> want to talk like about. Like it. fine wine. He's like fine wine. He wants like, to sign like these Golden Tate. Days. You've been so fucking, fucking bad. Blow me. I wouldn't sign you for five hundred k. I wouldn't. You, you wouldn't pay me just to let you be on the team. He's that bad. Right, go ahead. I just got another him. guy for uh, Dynasty Fantasy Football that I would like to trade for. Uh, Tyler Boyd. He's like the uh, the guy that everyone's like, the, the, exactly, like, right there. Your face says it all. He's like the wide receiver version of Matt Ryan, but, but like better. He's your, but better like, and probably younger. younger every but. year he does the same thing. He just produces at a at a, at a a wide receiver two, three rate. People scared off by the chase draft. But now he, he's just going to be like a low ceiling Low end wide receiver three now with Chase. Like you add an I, alpha to the fucking here's offense. Here's what I'm saying like, is everyone thinks that, and I don't think that's going to be the case. I think he's still going to be the lead, the target leader. No way. Yeah. No way Tyler Boyd leads this fucking yeah. team in targets. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Joe Mixon's going to have more targets than Tyler no. Boyd. Is but this is what I'm saying. The There's just this, all of a sudden this, this this hate for Tyler Boyd. Like he's not even on the team anymore. I, I, it's, I, just, it's a total I just, disrespect. I, I drafted Boyd in one of the startups I was in. Well, around. It was probably super late, right? It was, it was probably. It was like, and there's probably guys that went before, like, like, did Rager go before him? Definitely not. No. Okay, just making sure. I like Tyler Boyd. Yeah. And I, I understand the yeah, reason. I think I, he's, he's another he's guy that, like, lead the team. Guess what round I got. If you have Tyler 12. Boyd. Yeah, I was going to say uh, 14, 11, nah. 9, 9, 9, 9. I think I might have lied. 9. I'll go 11. I said 12. I'll go 11. 9. Is it a jackal? Is it how a jackal? Many, how many teams? It's a jackal. 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 It's a jackal. Jackal. Time. It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next 10 times? It was uh, 11. That's what I said. 11th round. The other wide receivers that went in the 11th round, Robbie Anderson, Will Fuller, Amon Ross St. Brown, Darnell Mooney, Deami Brown, Brandon Cooks. I would take Boyd overall. Yeah. I, that's why I did. Okay. Yeah, so 11th round. I mean, that's fucking great value, of course. And that's a... But we're talking trade for us. Like, what would you trade for Tyler Boyd? What would you feel comfortable... <sighs> Obviously, I I, uh, I would easily give up a second for Tyler Boyd. Yeah, in a sec yeah. I, would, I mean, depending on the league type, if it's like a full PPR, I like Boyd a little bit more. Um, if you're starting through wide receivers, obviously, I like him a little bit more too. But if it's just like a two wide receiver half PPR league, players like Boyd really don't really do much for me. I just feel like every like league now, dynasty wise, is like building towards bigger and bigger lineups. Like yeah. every league's got like. Uh, a super flex, two running backs, you know, two wide receivers or three wide receivers or or two wide receivers and three flexes and sometimes two flexes. I forget how fucking nerdy we sound when we start to say the settings of like dynasty leagues. Like a guy like Tyler Boyd super is like flex, filling FPR, his like your, your second starters, flex spot. Premium. Like that's a great guy to have in your second flex. He can go for fifteen to twenty every week. Probably gonna settle for the twelve, thirteen. Yeah. I'm just saying, can yeah. But it'll probably settle for you'll get your 12, 13 points. There's nothing happy. more boring than a boring wide receiver three. That's the problem. That's why he's a buy. That's why I like him. Because if you're on, if you're a Tyler Boyd owner right now, how are you feeling? Put you know it what it comments. is, Animal? I think how you feel? I think you've gotten hurt so badly over the last few years that you need some stability in your well, life. I also want to buy all the guys that I was wrong about last year because I'm always a year early. I feel so, so Rager? Like I'm big or on... a year late. No, no, no. Not like wrong that I was too early. I'm like Rojo, big buy oh, this okay, year. Okay, okay. Um, Who else? Big Ben this year. Did you say Big Ben no, this big year? No, big buy. Rojo, oh, big, big buy. buy. Russell Gage loved him last year. Big buy this year. Just I'm just a year too early on some of these guys. That's all. I mean, the Russell Gage is obvious now. Well, now it is, but I, I also was, don't that's think how sharp I, I am. It's I saw obvious because he might ago. just not be good. I saw Russell Gage a year ago. How sharp I am. Well, how come he's on my fucking team then? Well, in that league, I got him in a bunch of other leagues, oh, okay. stashed. Okay. McCall Hardman, this is the year. If oh, not, if not McCall Hardman, <laughs> this end episode. Byron Pringle. I have a KC stack in in one of the startups. I didn't get Mahomes, but I have. Pringle, Cornell Powell, Mikol Hardman. Powell sucks. And I'm about to, Drop they all him. suck. They're all terrible. Mikol Hardman, you can keep. Drop Powell. I'm not dropping him. I got him in like the 20 second round. Really good. Him. You could drop him. Sammy Watkins. Yeah, apparently the best wide receiver in the world. Yeah. All right, so that was all we have for Watkins. Dynasty for so Fantasy cheap. Football players that we want to trade for. 
I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, and it was good to be in person. Yeah, that's nice. actually nice to be here. You know if what? you that's, complain that's, about the audio or the video, I don't know what to tell you because we're in person, so it shouldn't be shit. Probably will it figure probably out. Will, It'll figure the, out a the way. The microphones probably aren't on. So. I fucking kept looking back. I probably ran sure. out of battery. It's the reason I flipped it up in the first place. I kept. Nah, I, mean, Mike, I am did. sorry if I yelled into this thing. It's the new my first time with this mic, and it's definitely louder. I mean, they I they all it. work the same. I feel like you didn't yell too much. I did yell. I screeched once. That's fine. You screeched. I once. screeched. That's fine. All right. Rest in peace, screech. By the way. All right. We love you. Bye.